Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jacob and this is Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors TV. Well today guys, the point of this video is we're going to discuss the value of supporting organizations such as Ducks Unlimited and Delta Waterfowl for future waterfowl production. A lot of people have mixed emotions on whether or not organizations like this are good for waterfowl hunters in the long run or are they just money grabs and where does all the money that is taken in from these organizations actually go? Well, I can tell you that that's a question that I get quite often. And also people that I talk to in the field and on social media, a lot of people have their doubts about these organizations. Me personally, I do support them 100 percent because I think that they are a vital part to waterfowl production for future generations down the road. Living here in Louisiana, I can tell you firsthand that I've seen efforts that are being put forth by both organizations to help produce more waterfowl for future generations, like I mentioned. Now, the one thing that I want to clear up and I want to touch on is that a lot of people are misled when they're talking about these organizations and what they're exactly meant to be for. These organizations, guys, don't confuse it. They are not worried about how many ducks you are killing each season and whether or not those numbers are increasing in the amount of birds that you harvest necessarily. Their sole purpose is to make sure that there is more waterfowl production in the nesting grounds and throughout the flyways in order to increase the populations of all the waterfowl species that we love so much and that we pursue. That being said, if you have more waterfowl production and more waterfowl in the future as we move along in this process, it just makes sense that you will have better days in the blind as we move towards the future. There's really no arguing that. If you have more ducks, you'll have better days in the blind. If you have the right type of setup where you hunt, meaning the right food sources, the right amount of water, and an area that the ducks could receive rest and not be pressured so much, then typically you will have those better days in the blind. Now, here in Louisiana, I'm going to give you an example that a lot of you may not know right now is taking place with Ducks Unlimited. And we're going to use this as an example of something that is ongoing that a lot of people in my own state may not be aware of. For so many decades, Southwest Louisiana has been known as the rice capital of the world, and waterfowl have frequented Southwest Louisiana and the rice fields like no other areas throughout the United States. Over the last several decades, we've been seeing less and less rice produced here in Louisiana, and the crop has turned from rice production over to sugarcane because there's more money to be made for sugarcane to be formed here in Southwest Louisiana. With that, we've seen the decrease in the amount of birds coming to the state and these particular areas every year. Ducks Unlimited has also seen the studies and they have also seen the numbers and the amount of birds that are decreasing and coming to this particular area of Louisiana every year. Well, currently right now, if you research this guys, Ducks Unlimited is working with farmers to receive grants in order for them to be able to produce more rice once again in these particular areas and less sugar cane. At the end of the day, waterfowl, we all know, love rice. It is a major food source for them during their wintering journeys down south and back up the flyways to return back safely and therefore have greater duck production in the future. Sugar cane, on the other hand, serves no purpose with waterfowl whatsoever other than that it decreases the numbers of waterfowl that visit the area where sugarcane is produced. Ducks Unlimited sees this as a problem and they know that sh more sugarcane production means less ducks here in Louisiana and the coastal marshes of southwest and southeast Louisiana and there needs to be something done about it. So they are subsidizing farmers currently with a program that allows them to be able to produce more rice in these areas once again and less sugar cane, therefore hopefully having more birds return to these areas in the future. This is an example, just one example, 
of what I've seen an organization such as Ducks Unlimited do in my state in order to produce more waterfowl and more waterfowl production for the future generations. And this is an effort where your money and your support of an organization such as Ducks Unlimited and others such as Delta Waterfowl make a huge difference, guys. Many people may not know this. A lot of guys hunt public land and they say, well, we don't see the, the public land projects like we do on private land with these organizations. Another example here in Louisiana, guys, is on public land alone throughout all the wildlife management areas in my state of Louisiana. Wildlife and Fisheries, Louisiana Department of Wildlife and Fisheries is supplied and funded by these organizations every year to fight invasive species such as giant salvania, regular salvania, and water hyacinth in order to keep our waterways free and clear of debris. And yes, it is a big project and a big problem here in Louisiana that they're continuing to fight every year with the support of these organizations. It's an effort that takes a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of support, guys. Now, if you choose not to support organizations like this, I completely understand where you're coming from and the rumors that have been spread out there about these organizations. But at the end of the day, please understand that these organizations are designed to produce more ducks and make sure that waterfowl has a bright future down the road. Once again, if we have that happen, then we can just about guarantee that our days in the blinds as waterfowl hunters will be much brighter as well. If you guys have any questions for me or thoughts, I'd love to hear it down in the comments below. But this is just my opinion from what I've seen the data show and what I've seen these organizations do in my own state. A lot of younger hunters out there have doubt in their mind and don't really realize what the importance is of these organizations. And I feel that it's my job as an older hunter who does support these organizations and see what they're doing out there to be able to share a little bit of this knowledge with you and other hunters who may not be as educated on what they're doing. Like I said, they're doing great things for our state here in Louisiana, and I'm sure they're doing great things across the United States and the flyways, wherever you may be. If you want brighter futures for your kids in the blind and more memories to be made, then I highly suggest taking a close look at these organizations and some of the projects that they fund in your particular area. You may be surprised and may squash some of those rumors that are out there with these organizations. If you enjoyed this video and you found it useful, guys, give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, we appreciate if you do for future videos just like this. Until next time, this is Jacob with Last Stop Waterfowl Outdoors signing off. Y'all take care and be careful out there in the field.